Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video. This one is super duper technical. Super duper technical. Super nerdy, but super informative. If you're not into the technical details of the engine, such as camshafts, sign off right now. Because I'm telling you we're doing a deep dive into the cam that we're installing in this car. And that would increase the horsepower on my Dodge Durango RT. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Let's go. All right, nerdy guys, nerdy technical guys or guys that's building Gen 3 Hemis. I got a serious, great video for you guys today. We're going to talk about the camshaft that I'm going to be doing on my twin turbo build on my Hellcat. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because no one has made it in terms of discussing what is the right cam if you're switching from supercharge to twin turbo or what is the right cam if you want to make more power with your Hellcat? Should you do a cam? These are all questions that we hope to answer in today's video because comp, that's right, comp cams, the grandfather of all camming is joining the call with us. So let's jump on that call right now and let's talk to our guys and our friends over there at Comp. But before we jump into the video and before we call Comp Cams, thank you guys so much for the support of the merch that you guys have been getting from modtofame.com. Because of that, we're going to be adding new merch every other week. So every other week, we're going to be adding new merch. So you're not going to want to miss it. Please, please, right now, go to modofame.com, grab what's available now, like all your friends have been doing. It's really cool stuff on there. Shirts, hats, sunglasses, everything is up there. Check it out right now. There goes the man. What's up, brother? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm pretty good, man. I can't complain. I uh, I appreciate you jumping on the live real quick. I like the uh, the big Zex behind you, too. Yeah, I don't have any say that. <laughs> little 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 nitrous thing so uh with comp you guys do first of all who am i speaking to brother let the people know my name's tommy i'm one of the tech guys i also do sales over the phone uh pretty much anybody who calls in they want a recommendation we can get them recommendation for cams other valve train parts you know zex uh we even got fast fuel injection so, so what do you what do you know about Mopar, man? What do you know about Mopar, Tommy? Well, I've pretty much been in it my whole life. Small block Mopars, and then building some big blocks and stuff for his cars, and messing around with some other people's stuff with some friends back home. Um, as of recently, I got into the Gen Three Hemi stuff with uh, my Ram. Mm -hmm. It's got the five seven. I really so you got a five seven Ram? Right yeah. Oh, dope, man. So what do you, did, did you do a cam or anything in that? I actually have a cam on my desk right here. I got to get the other parts together for it. Okay, and that's, that's for your RAM. Yeah. Uh, my boss actually has a SRT8 Grand Cherokee. Okay. And he has cam kits. Man, tell the people, tell the people how we got here uh, while we're on this phone call in relation to my Hellcat. Well... There's been very few people to pull the blower off it, okay, turbo. As far as I know, there's only been like maybe one other person. Mm -hmm. uh, with yours, I just, I didn't expect it to be honest with you. Um, but we did have some turbo grinds with HRT series cams, which is a different load design. It's probably one of my more favorite ones. Uh, with it, basically it's, like a copy of the LST lobes that we have for the LS, but it's specifically for the Hemis. Okay. Because the Hemis have shaft mount rockers, so you can get more aggressive with the lobe design than you can with an LS. Yep. With your setup, though, with what you were trying to do, I only have two of the turbo HRT cams for the Gen 3 Hemi stuff. Mm -hmm. so pretty much what I did was did a custom grind, and I have some lobes there in this book. It's very similar to the HRT. It's not exactly the same. With yours, I 
since I only have two of the HRT turbos, one of them was not aggressive enough. The other one, I think, was a bit too aggressive for what you were trying to do. Yep. Being that this is kind of a street car. Yep. Um, I picked some lobes that are similar to those out of the book, which was, I believe, the QXIs. I don't know. I'll have to look at the spec card. You don't have the spec uh, in front of you, the build sheet? If not, not right I, I could pull it up. They don't see my email and all that. So y'all going to look at me while I pull up the uh, what Tommy sent me as far as my build out. For those of you that don't know, I'm on a line right now on a Zoom call with uh, Tommy who works at Comp Cams. If you don't know Comp, then you don't know Cams because they are the granddaddy of doing cams. Can you see my screen, Tommy? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So this is what we built out, right? Can you talk through a little bit about what these numbers mean? Well, to me, the two most important would be duration and the lobe separation. Okay. Because those are really what's going to determine where your power kicks in and where it starts to fall off at. Okay, so how do we set mine up? up? Well, as for yours, I didn't want it to absolutely murder bottom end power or anything like that. I also really wanted to focus on spool time. Okay. Usually with the turbo application, you're going to have a pretty narrow duration split, which is why this one's only about six degrees. Um, and the, for most applications, like the older engines, like say a small block Ford or a small block Chevy, people throwing turbos on them, usually those will have a little bit narrower duration split. With how well these heads flow, you can actually you know, put it out a little bit wider than normal. Um, but this is pretty solid setup here. Um, with the boosted application, regardless of it being blower or turbo, you're going to want a wider lobe set. Um, just to help cut down on the overlap, it does help control cylinder temperature a little bit better as well. So what is, um, a, what is the a, lift? Yeah, what does the 225 mean? 225, that's... Duration of 50 on the intake, which is how long the valve is open, measured from 50 thousandths lift after opening to 50 thousandths lift before closing. Okay, and is that the intake lift or the exhaust lift? That's intake duration. Okay, and then what does 231 mean? 231 is the same thing, just on the exhaust. How? So the exhaust is open a little bit longer than the intake. Got it. Okay, and then what is lobe separation? <laughs> Lobe separation is the relation between intake and exhaust and how far apart those lobes are spaced. Wow, that's crazy. So how is how is my car going to run in terms of like drivability with those type of numbers? Because I hear horror stories about cams and the car is like... How is my car going to run? Well, with the boosted application, especially turbo, that's the exact opposite of what you want. Because then it will make the bottom end lazy. The spool time will take forever. Um, with this here, you pretty much drive like normal, just putting around. Um, and with how I have the duration set up, and a decently narrow split, not a massive amount of duration. It's still bigger than stock. But honestly, I think the stock cams and the Hellcats are too small for what they are anyway. And that's not their fault. It's because they got to get around emissions and stuff like that. Um, even just on like a stock Hellcat, just putting a cam in, you can pick up a lot of power just because the, the stock cams are so small. Because there's a supercharged style cam and then there's a turbo style cam. What's the difference between the two? The main difference is blower and nitrous are actually like the same type of cam. Pretty wide duration split by lobe separation those are the main things it's it's probably oversimplifying it no but it needs to be simple <laughs> so i'm assuming my supercharger before the boost comes in like quick right and, and so it's very, it's very torque. normal for a positive displacement soft blower setup right so it's very quick it's uh but turbos they have to spool is this cam going to help my turbo spool quicker yes and that's how I specifically did it, was the, the shorter duration split there. So I'll pick back up some of that bottom end that I'm losing by taking off the supercharger. Pretty much. Nice. It's still going to be a little bit lazier versus a supercharger, but that's just kind of the nature of it. With the turbo setup, you're going to have a lot more top end than you did before. And this is common knowledge. The turbos are just more efficient than a blower guy. It's just 
there's nothing driving on the engine with a turbo where there is with a blower application. Right. Because it takes power to make power with a blower. Uh, you guys do cams there. What else do you do there that people can get at comp? Well, pertaining to the valve train stuff, your cam is nothing without the proper sprays and the rest of the valve train as well. You know, like push rods and rock and stuff like that. Um, springs. Springs are a massive thing. Those are the most stressed part in any engine. Got it. So we're upgrading my springs as well, right? Yes. One question I forgot to ask. Uh, if you had a scat pack or a 392, what would you do to it to get the most power out of it? I get that question all the time and I don't know how to answer it. Yeah, the intake exhaust and bigger throttle bay along with the intake. Uh, and obviously the cam. The cams on these engines are not very big at all. Like going by bear cam picks up massive power. So the cams do pick up a lot of power? Yes. What kind of power have you seen on a Scat 392 increase? On that motor, what type of power are we talking about? By Same setup, stock 6.4, long tubes and bigger throttle body. Uh, basically, from 3,000 up to 6,500 RPM, made more power everywhere in the car. Wow. So, what was the and power that, that it increased? There, hold up here. That one was 75 more horses peak to peak. And 6,500 RPM made 129 volt horses. Max power. Uh, it was 537 foot pounds of torque at around about 4,300 uh, RPM. Jeez, so. And it was basically 540 horses at about 6,300. 543 horses? Yep. Out of a scat. Wow. So, all right, guys, don't ask me this question no more. The answer is. You got a 5.7 or a SCAT, oh, 392, Inta uh, intake, exhaust, headers, throttle body, cam. E85 if you want to go to the next step. <laughs> but listen, Toby, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm going to talk back to these guys so that I could finish the video up. But I appreciate you joining on, and thank you for building me a killer cam for the twin turbo. Hellcat, man. Comp is definitely in on the build. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Guys, I really, really hope that that was helpful for you. Um, remember, guys, I'm doing something that's new that not a lot of people, little to no one, has actually done for their street-driven Hellcat. That's It's just not done yet. So we're very early. So because we're so early, we're going to continue to run into new things like this. And I want to take you guys along with me and show you the technical details behind it. Because maybe you're not doing a full twin turbo build on your Hellcat, but there's something in my build that jumps out at you. Maybe you're not doing a full build on your 392 or SCAT, but there's some information that helps you. Like in today's video, you learned that by doing a cam on one of those cars, you can pick up 75 horsepower. I did not know that. But comp cams did, and they have those custom cams for your vehicle, some in stock, ready to go, no wait time. Crazy. So I want to give a special shout out to comp cams for sponsoring the build. Thank you guys so much. We couldn't ask for a better partner. We're doing the custom grind turbo cam from them for our build, as well as the valve springs, which will help us to rev the car higher, safer, and get the most out of the turbos and the cam and the built motor day by day we're getting stronger better and you know we're learning from our mistakes you guys take a note and learn from us learn from our mistakes learn from our wins learn from our losses no such thing as losses demonology says there's only lessons but until the next one it's your boy Stefan here from mod to fame and here in this hellcat that's about to be a crazy twin turbo build we out we out